Hello. Well, hey, hello everyone. I know you think, oh, bylaws, this is going to be the most boring thing in the world. Well, I'll try not to make it boring. I have a big stack of papers here. I'm not going to pass these out right now because I want you to listen to me for a minute and I'm going to try to keep this, you know, coherent. But if you want to read it in hard copy, I made like 40 or 50 copies down at the staple. So after I finish, I'm going to have them available. And if you want a copy, there's not enough here for every single person, but to take it back, to, to really look at it close, I encourage you to do that. It's also posted on our website at the moment. And I mean, exactly what I printed here. Um, and what we're going to be doing is we've decided uh, we want to talk about this here to get some feedback and let people be aware of what we're going to propose. And we meaning just some, of the some of the individuals in the, the leadership. Uh, but the actual vote on this will, will happen in conjunction with our presidential election, which will happen you know, in a couple of months now. And so they'll you know, be able to vote on both things at one time. And the only people that are allowed to vote on it are people who are official members, which means you're, you're paid up in your dues, you're in our database as being current in your dues. A lot of you paid dues with conference registration, uh, but if, if those that aren't here or did not, I'm going to make a, one last push to, to find those people and encourage them. If you know, have friends who didn't come to conference because there was a conflict, encourage them to renew the dues because at this point we're still a membership organization. We're not funded in another way and that's what gives you the right to vote on these things if you are interested. And if you don't vote, the people who do vote will decide it. So just remember that. But, you know, we have these individuals here operate and, and, and make the, and with the, the, the team people that they're talking about operate affirmation on a day-to-day -day basis. However, you know, we sort of need like a parliament or a senate or some sort of a overseeing body. And that, and that body in the past, by our bylaws, was something called the chapter of council representatives. Randall's already mentioned how the whole nature of these chapters around the country is sort of being disrupted by the new internet and Facebook and, and you know, online realities. And they're, 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 they're not the traditional chapters in, in most cases now, although there's still some. So these chapters were supposed to send a representative, and that was sort of like our parliament, and they, they all had an elected representative, and that group of representatives had the power to approve some of the big decisions, to remove the president if there was a crisis and the president was going nutso or something. And so we don't have that now because we don't have a council of chapter representatives, but it's still in the bylaws, and so we need to take it out. Now, this is important because the bylaws are what set us up as, you know, we're a 5013C, organization under the IRS rules, and we'd like to stay that way. That's so it also allows your donations to be tax deductible. It also is important for other organizations that wish to come out and support us. You know, you've heard of grants, things like that, other foundations that might want to help us. They, like, they will look to our bylaws and to our board formation to decide, you know, are we a reputable organization that they can support? So this has fundamental importance. And also, if we come to a point where there's half of us want to do something and half of us want to do the other and there's a disagreement. We have to have a strong constitution. That's what our charter and our bylaws are. It's our constitution so that we can you know, decide, okay, how do we handle this? How do we work through it in, in a democratic process? And that's why it's important to keep them up to date, which is what we're proposing to do is not really change anything. I, we're calling these changes because we're changing the bylaws. They're not really changes. It's really changing the bylaws to reflect the reality of what we already are now and what has naturally evolved, which is that the, the, you know, the chapters are different now. We have a different kind of organization. And so this, to sum up the changes, instead of having this council that no longer really exists, we're going to have the board, which has been formed recently, as you saw the slides a moment ago, and is growing and, and being better organized, the board will replace the chapter of council representatives. Essentially, you just go through and basically virtually all the same duties and responsibilities. And this board is a diverse group of people. It's not all one type of person. You know, they're, and that will give you know, a, a moderating influence to decisions. They'll approve major decisions, major appointments, and uh, major expenditures from the endowment and stuff like that. And so I think it's important to do that. Uh, a, a secondary thing is uh, we do have a small endowment fund. People have donated money for the long-term use of affirmation. Uh, that, will, that needs to be managed. It, at the moment, it's sort of stagnant. So we need a committee to manage that. That committee was in the bylaws, but we're going to change the name of it and make it report to the board now because we now, that's the new, new way of doing it. 
Um, this is important because you know, you know, if someone should donate, uh, leave a lot of money to Affirmation, you know, there needs to be a committee to, to help manage that. And so we wanted to update that. Uh, there's also some minor changes in here that will strengthen and, and focus the, the obligations of the board, so to make them clear. Um, I think that pretty much covers it. Um, we, you know, I have gotten already some feedback from key individuals when we, we sent the, I sent this out just individually to people on the committee. Now it's time to open these comments up to the public, to you, to anyone you know who's interested in affirmation and its future. And so like I said, these changes are proposed, uh, posted on our website. These pro they're proposed changes. After we get all the feedback, we'll do a draft, we'll, we'll revise this, and send it out in the election to be voted yay or nay. And if it's nay, then we go back and find out why people voted nay and we'll you know, fix those problems and do it again. But I don't think you'll have any problems with this personally. Um, like I said, I'll put these down here in a minute and, and uh, or just walk through and you know, see if anyone wants any. Um, and you can look at it and my email address is posted and you know, if you email me, I'll make sure that, that everybody sees your comments. And I've already made changes from one of the comments that came to me from another member. Um, and so if you have any questions about the general process, this is a good time to ask them and then I'll just hand these out and look for your feedback and we'll go from there. So, any questions? Okay. All right. Well, in that case, I'll just walk through and... Yeah. Yes, Judy. Just make those available after so Okay. These will be down here and if you're interested, down here on the first row after the, uh, the closure of this session, okay?